Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to talk about how you can know if an account on Discord is an alt account, and, you know, maybe that you're trying to use this if you're trying to figure out, get you know, all the per accounts a person has, maybe, like, ban them all so they don't wreak havoc again on your server or do something bad. Um, so today, that's what I'm going to talk about. But first off, let's talk about our Discord sponsor of the day, and then we'll get into it. If you are a content creator on YouTube or Instagram and looking to grow, you should check out the Promotion Plaza Discord server. In order to promote your content, you must watch, like, and give real and genuine feedback to other members' content. This gives an incentive for other people to engage in your videos. The server uses bot integration with YouTube and Instagram to make the process fast and simple. The link to this server is in the description. So basically, there's a couple ways you can go about checking for an alt. Now, there's a lot of classic options here, and I've got some an alt in particular picked out that I want to take a moment to talk about. Now, in an ideal situation, an alt looks something like this. There is no user information. Um, there's hardly any information whatsoever. Um, you have no hype squad, no nothing. You have a default profile badge. And that's about as good as it gets if you really, really get lucky and the alt is really simple. Now, on other hands, though, you'll see sometimes where people will just have a profile picture. It looks similar to this account. And it will just have the profile picture of, I don't know, for example, some people like putting like pictures of trees or, you know, a Discord logo or, uh, you know, just Minecraft block or something. They'll put something really simple in there. There will not be any additional information in here whatsoever. And there won't be any other information, uh, especially when you go to mutual servers. If they're only on one of your servers, especially if you are on multiple uh, that all kind of share the same player base since I own multiple I'd expect this person to if they were kind of a normal account usually they're on two or three of my servers because they found my through my YouTube channel videos like in the description or whatever and they've clicked on a couple of them and they'll join a couple so this is basically like what you'd expect for a default kind of user um, yeah they're online now but you can kind of take a moment just to take a look and see that there's no hype squad hype squad is practically a really really good indicator on a you know if someone's a uh, not an alt because you're not going to put in the time to get hype squad on an account that's not really yours uh the profile picture is really simple and easy to do so people will do that and that's about as quick and simple option to make it kind of look official but after that you won't have any additional information and you won't have any a lot won't have many uh, mutual servers and you won't have hype squad or nitro if you have hype squad nitro or any social media uh i would say it's highly unlikely now for example, we're just going to take a moment to say that even if you do have social media, for example, you click on one of these and they have one, if it has zero, that's less likely, but it's still a chance. And you've got to take a moment to think about that is that it's kind of likely if they've just put like one in here and it's, nothing's on there and it kind of matches their name and that's about it, that, you know, it's kind of likely that's a possibility that's an alt as well. Like, for example, this is what a, this is what my account looks like. And as you can clearly see, Discord partner, Hype Squad. And then, of course, you've got all the social media links. This account is clearly not an alt. So I guess that's what I wanted to talk about today is that you've got a really good chance and option to pick out an alt. Now, obviously, you can also go through and check activity. Now, activity is, you know, another thing you can go through and do. You can check to see how active it is. Now, obviously, if there's an alt, you're going to find out uh, that, you know, one person's on at one time and another person's on at another time and you're going to want to watch their activity because if they're only on active for maybe a one or two peer, um, couple minutes a day and they have all those other things that's almost guaranteed null so that's how you can pretty much pick one out out in the wild when you're searching through it and coming through it on any of your servers but without further ado thank you very much for watching make sure you check out my discord server as well as the uh, sponsors discord server today all will be down in the description and as always thank you very much for watching goodbye